Hi students, in this video we will be learning about the third Hadoop tool that is Apache Scoop. Apache Scoop is a tool designed to transfer data between the Hadoop and the relational database. And if I take the version 1 of Scoop, Apache Scoop, I um, will be using connectors between this Hadoop and the relational database. These connectors are nothing but plugins. In Scoop version 2, these connect uh, connectors are not used. Instead of connectors, I will be using Java database connectivity to connect this uh, relational database and the Hadoop. Uh, these are some of the difference between Scoop version 1 and 2. So, connectors it is supported by version 1 and not supported by version 2. And here in version 2, it is JDBC connectivity and Kerberos, Kerberos security integration version 1 supports and version 2 it doesn't support. And data transfer from RDBMS to Hive or HBase it's supported by Scoop version 1 and not supported by Scoop version 2. Instead of it, we have to uh, first import data from RDBMS into Hadoop distributed file system. Then from HDFS, I can move to Hive or HBase. And data transfer from Hive or HBase to RDBMS, it is not supported in both the versions. And uh, this Apache Scoop tool, uh, as I told, it is used to perform data transfer between HDFS and the relational databases. Uh, there are two steps uh, in transferring the data between uh, HDFS and the relational database. Uh, the first step is uh, Scoop, it examines the DBMS, RDBMS and gathers the metadata. After gathering the metadata, the Scoop submits map on the job to the cluster. These are the two steps. Uh, um, which is used to transfer data between RDBMS and the HDFS. So, uh, here if I transfer the data from RDBMS to um, HDFS, it is known as import. You can see the arrow directions from RDBMS, I am transferring the data to HDFS. The next is from HDFS, I am moving the data to uh, RDBMS. That is my export. The first one is import, the second one is export. And for both import and export, I have two steps. The first step is scoop, it examines the RDBMS and gathers the metadata. Once the metadata is gathered, the scoop submits the map only job to the cluster. Actual uh, job is taken care by this step two. And here you have to note down. It is just map only job, not the reducer job. No reducer job here, just the map only job. And here we can see an uh, example um, how we can use this scoop to perform either import or export. Right. Uh, so the steps to be followed are uh, you have to download your scoop and you have to download and load sample MySQL data. Add scoop user permissions for the local machine and the cluster. You can import and export it. And this is the software environment. And uh, as the first step says, I have to download scoop. You have to download and you have to install your scoop. What is this scoop? Scoop is the Apache tool that is used to perform data transfer between the RDBMS and my Hadoop distributed file system. Right. Uh, and uh, as the first step, uh, I have to download and I have to install my scoop. To install my scoop, the command is m. Right. Uh, after this, you can note down, download and load sample MySQL data. I have to download and load sample MySQL data. So first, you have to download your MySQL. How to download your MySQL? To download your MySQL, the command is wget. So use wget and download your MySQL. After downloading your MySQL, you can extract the file. Right. So this is a command to extract your file. 
So to download MySQL, the command is wget. Once you have downloaded your MySQL, you can log into MySQL and you can perform the import. Import the desired database. What do you mean by import? Transferring the data from, you can see the diagram, transferring the data from RDBMS to cluster is import. Right. So here, uh, I am you in the MySQL. I have many database. In that, I am selecting the world database, and I am extracting the world database. <coughs> this world database has three files. Sorry, three tables: city, country, and country language. <coughs> and if you want to see these table, you can use a you know, short. You can use show table and you can see the table. What is the third step? Add scoop user permissions for the local machine and the cluster. Right. So here you are giving user permission for the local machine and the cluster. Grant all privileges on world. You know when I am giving user permission, there are three groups: user, group, and the others. Other is either I can say as public or to the entire world. I am giving the permission. So I am granting all privileges on world. I am giving all privileges to public, both for local machine and the cluster. And now we can see the fourth step, how I can perform import and the export. To perform the import, um, what I have to do is like first I have to list all the databases in my MySQL. Right in, in my MySQL, what and all databases are there, first I have to list it. So list databases and I am connecting through JDBC, Java Database Connectivity, since it is Hadoop version 2. And I am specifying the username and the password. After the warning message, you will get the list of databases available in your MySQL. So three databases are there, information schema, test and world. After this, you can uh, select any one databases and you can list all the tables in that database. So I am selecting the world database. So I am selecting world database. I am going to list all the tables in my world database. So this world database has uh, uh, three tables, uh, city, country and country language. I am listing all the tables available in my world database. After this, uh, you can use your make directory command and create a directory in your Hadoop and you can start importing. What is import? From RDBMS, I am moving to my Hadoop HDFS. Right. Uh, so you can start your import, scoop, import, right. So what are you going to import from the world database? I'm going to import country table. You can import table by table. So world database, right, table is country table. And where to import? You have to specify your target directory. So target directory is this one, scoop MySQL import. And this hyphen m indicates the map function. What I'm using is just one. Hyphen m1 indicates I'm using only one map function. Right. Uh, then if you want, you can use this ls command and you can check whether you have properly imported. And if you want to display the contents of what you have imported to your Hadoop distributor file system, just use cat command and just uh, uh, see, right, uh, see the contents in your screen itself. Right, uh, next is export. In export, I will be using two tables. First, this is the table I am going to export it. And I will be having one more table known as staging table. This staging table is used to um, check whether there is any exceptions or not. If there is no exceptions in your uh, table what you have created successfully the table will be exported. Exported is from Hadoop distributor file system to your relational 